Hey everyone, Mike here and in this video we're going to talk about multitasking on the Samsung Galaxy S4 and see how fast this phone is when dealing with various programs at the same time. First, let's talk about the cool parts. The S4 offers a multi-window mode, which for the first time allows two different apps to split the screen and run at the same time. Before, multitasking meant that one app was active while others were running in the background, but this new approach opens countless many ways to use your phone. For instance, you can now listen to music from YouTube or run a movie in a smaller window while browsing or chatting with your friends in the other, and that's something I wish I could do on my phone for a long time now. Besides that, the S4 still offers the ability to run certain apps in a small pop-up window on top of others. For instance, you can have a video playing like that. Also, you can have music running in the background while performing all sorts of other tasks, and you can quickly control it from the notification panel or even from the lock screen if you want to. And then the S4 offers all the standard Android multitasking functions. You can have many apps open at the same time and quickly toggle between them from the multitasking window that can be accessed from anywhere by long pressing the home button, but more about it a bit later. Multitasking keeps apps running in the background, so they won't be reloaded each time you're accessing them. For instance, if you're reading something on a web page and then someone calls you or you want to go open a movie, you can later go back to the browser and continue from where you left without having to reload the page. Of course, there's a limited amount of memory on the phone and if you're running many apps at once, eventually some of them will be automatically closed and will have to be reloaded when you'll get back to them. But there's plenty of RAM on the S4 and that won't happen very often. With that out of the way, back to that multitasking window. From here, you can quickly scroll and switch between apps, you can close an app by swiping it to the sides or you can close all of them by tapping the button on the bottom right side of the window. Also down below there are two more buttons. The one in the middle will quickly launch Google Now, while the one on the left opens the task manager. In here, you can see a list of all the apps currently active on the phone, a list of all the downloaded apps and also the amount of available and occupied RAM and storage space. Notice that only 9.2GB of space are usable for your own files on the 16GB version of the S4. Then you can quickly close an app from the task manager or even uninstall one and you can clear the memory from the RAM manager. Speaking of that, looks like only 1.78GB of memory are available for apps on this international version, out of which about 0.9GB are used by the OS and the core apps. Bottom point, the S4 with its powerful hardware and a few tweaks on top of Android is able to multitask at ease between tasks and offer you some abilities you won't find on other devices. And that pretty much wraps up this clip. If you have any questions, post them below. And don't forget to check out all the other clips on the Galaxy S4 posted on my channel. I'll catch you later.